Welcome to Bird Squawk, guys. Today, we're going to talk about food and what we feed cockatiels. Stick around. We'll be right back. Hey, Bird Squawk. What do I feed my cockatiel? I get this question all the time. Okay, so today we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the formula all the way up to the weaning process and what we feed them. And this is what we do. And... Um, we're going to go through exactly how we do it as far as the types of food and things that we give. All right, so this isn't going to be a super long video, uh, but we're going to go through and talk about it. First of all, if you like our videos, please subscribe, hit like, hit the bell for notifications. We're trying to make a video once a week. Um, the, the channel's really getting big, and we uh, appreciate all of you, and uh, we thank you all for tuning in, and we love all the comments. We try to answer all of them. All right, let's talk about food. So when a bird is uh, being incubated and it hatches, uh, you guys have seen many of my videos that we let that bird go for a while before we feed it, okay? That bird needs to go a few hours before you try to put any food in it. And when you do put food in it, you want it to be fairly runny, and we've talked about temperature and all that. That's a whole other video of uh, hand feeding formula. But we will start feeding that bird hand feeding formula, okay? that we make with just regular tap water and uh, we use hot tap water and then uh, we let that cool down with the formula to approximately 105 degrees and we want that to the consistency pretty thin in the beginning because these little guys can get dehydrated really quickly okay and so having that a little bit thin and running through them faster is better than having it real thick and thinking it's going to stick with them longer okay when they're little there's a time for that but when they're little you want to stay with the formula and you want to make it fairly thin now once they get a few days old you can kind of start thickening that up just a little bit okay and uh in what i call a thin applesauce okay then you want about that texture all right and all manufacturers will give you a recommendation of what they want you to, to put, how much water with their feed. Uh, this one happens to be two to one water. And that, that, they say that's the perfect consistency for the uh, baby. And we stick to that most of the time. We will hand feed these guys with hand feeding formula for up to, my goodness, uh, five or six weeks before we start offering them anything else. Once we get the bird gets to that five week area and the feathers are starting to open up and, and they're almost completely open or they some birds are open by that time, let's say they get to that uh, the five or six weeks, then we want to start introducing millet, okay? Millet is something a bird doesn't need to live on, but there is some nutritional value in here. Uh, cockatiels particularly, uh, uh, love birds as well, they love this stuff. They go crazy for this stuff. And so... What it does is it teaches the babies to start opening seeds, crunching on things, using their beak. And that's what it teaches them. Now, we're still giving them hand formula, but we're offering this. And sometimes we'll just lay it in the bottom of a brooder, and they'll come to it and pick on it. Okay? And so we'll offer that. And once we see that they're starting to eat this, we know they're in the weaning process. We know that we can start taking the formula away from them. Now... At night, we probably want to still fill them up with formula so they get through the night. And then during the day, they're going to pick at this. We might give them a little bit of formula, depending on their age. And then, we like pellets, okay? And the reason that we like to feed all of our birds, even our aviary and even our pets, uh, from lovebirds to macaws, we, we use pellets. Different sizes for the macaws, naturally, but anyway... This has all of its nutrients built into it. It's exactly the amount that a bird needs, and they do great on this, okay? Naturally, they're going to like seed and a combination that you can get better. So sometimes we have to start them out in the weaning process offering this. And you can see there's a few pellets in there along with the seeds and different types of seeds. Okay, so when they're five or six, maybe seven weeks old, 
you know, we want to start offering this during the day and then maybe even put this in their in their brooder if they go back to the brooder. They're in the process now. When they're getting close to that seven or eight weeks old, their feathers are completely open and they're most likely in the cage during the day, if not in the cage uh, full time. So we would offer both of these, all right? And we do offer both of these just to get them used to, to feeding and using their beak and uh, feeding themselves. That crop will, will shrink back down and they'll eat a little bit all day long. At that point, you're most likely off of the hand feeding formula, okay? And then the millet is simply a treat at that particular point, okay? Now we're talking about the real food. They got all their nutrients from this, okay, the hand feeding formula. Now they're getting most of their nutrients, really all they need from this, okay? And so they could live forever on this, certainly on this. They got everything they need. This is an, an oats product, okay? It's a great treat for the birds, okay? There is nutritional value in this, but they would still need uh, some other things. I wouldn't feed this to them all the time. This can be uh, substituted sometimes for the millet. They, they really like this stuff, okay? And so that's the, that's the routine that we go to, all right? So we go for the hand feeding formula. We introduce a little bit of millet, then when they get to be, you know, six weeks old, five weeks old, we want to start introducing some pellets or some mixed seed, and those possibly even in two bowls together. Uh, we certainly could give them a little more treats along with the millet as treats. Um, and then if you still see your bird is crying for food, maybe give him a little bit, uh, you know, a half a tube or something like that at night just to make sure. Do that weaning process. You're gaining something from that weaning process other than just uh, your bird learning how to eat. That weaning process is an extreme bonding process that's happening between you and the bird, okay? And it really sets that bird on whether it's gonna be super tame or not, okay? Listen guys, uh, I wanted to go over this with food, everything today, and uh, just do a quick video and tell you what's going on. We appreciate all of you, and uh, stick with us. We got more bird videos coming. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.